What was your first premium ship in the game? <clears throat> your body. Your body was the first thing. Man of culture? No, no, it's just... I watched a video from Jingles. And before I knew enough about the game, I bought a premium. But in my excuse, because I always tell that to not do people, and that's pretty dumb, and it is. But in my uh, case, I had to buy a premium to start playing the game. There was no other way. When closed beta test happened, it was going on for a bit, and then they gave you three options. You could buy, well, four. You could buy Yubari, you could buy Gremyashi, or you could buy Sims, or all three. If you buy any of the packages, you get access to closed beta tests. I was already a big, heavily invested World of Tanks player, and I knew I wanted to get into World of, Ta uh, World of Warships as soon as it comes out. This was the opportunity. So I took it. It costed like 30 euros, I think. Um, 30 dollars or 30 euros? I'm not actually sure. Could be 30 dollars. I don't know. Uh, so I had to buy one. The thing about Gremyashi is I wasn't really too keen on playing DDs when the, when the game first started. And it only had four guns and it was a tier five. It, uh, it had a super, it had a relatively low rate of fire with super slow turning turrets. It didn't look as good as it actually was. And I didn't know how strong regular tier 4 cruisers are. Uh, and your body looked very strong because it's got strong torpedoes, it had guns, range, and the strongest AA in the game. For the tier. Even for tier 5. Shit, it could, even, it, it could even hold its ground in a tier 6. And uh, Jingles showcased a couple of games where this thing was really doing its job very well. So I decided, okay, I'm going to buy a U-Body. It's the lowest tier I can buy, which is awesome because I'm not going to go too high without knowing how to play the game yet properly. I'll be able to defend myself and others against carriers when the AA was still worth it and, and functioning. Uh... Boy, was I wrong. Sure, it, it was it was strong against planes, but that's about it. Torpedoes, you weren't really able to use most, most of the time. And guns, it only had four fucking guns. When I saw what Akuma and Phoenix were armed with, a part of me died inside. Because I knew that I made a big mistake of buying your body. Because that thing was a piece of shit. A big fucking piece of shit in comparison to Kuma or Phoenix. And Kuma was my favorite tier 4 cruiser. That thing was armed to the teeth. Um, and back then, there were far less deadly and far less skilled players when I just started playing the game. Um, <clears throat> yeah, eventually uh, Gremyashi was my favorite. That thing was amazing. And then I think I just bought one more. I think that was Turpets for Christmas or something or birthday. Long time ago. And that's it. That's pretty much all that I bought. With, you know, it, it was a couple of packages of, of, of gold and premium and stuff that were kind of part of the Turpets deal and uh, the Yubari and, and, and shit like that. Atago, Turpits, and Kutuza were my first. Yeah, I never bought Atago. I didn't like the, 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 the concept of that ship. I was disgusted with how weak it actually looked. Because every noob... Yeah, I remember stealth firing. I was heavily against he uh, stealth firing. Even though I was a DD main. I couldn't wait for the day when they're going to finally remove stealth firing. That was one of the stupidest things ever. Even though you could say one of the rarely accurate, historically possible and accurate things. Not from DDs, most likely, but there were definitely ships that could shoot 
more than their view range. So they could shoot you and not be detected. You know, they can shoot you without you being able to see them or them being able to see you, but with a usage of radar or scout planes or something. Uh, but Atago was... Every single fucking pleb in the game had Atago that didn't know how to play. Because it was the first tier 8 premium. So everybody wanted it. Because everybody knew that the tier 8 premiums are going to be the top premiums for a while. That Wargaming is ever going to introduce in the game. Because World of Tanks had the same policy. He was paying attention. So yeah. What the fuck? I just need to know when will we, when will he stop turning to know where I need to torp. <clears throat> if he'll stop turning at all. Okay, he stopped. But once I start shooting, he'll probably start turning again. Damn, it's fast. All day. Dive bombers. Let the fun begin. Well, we got the sky potato out of the game. Meanwhile, my team is winning 7-1. Plus the, the, the kill that I got. I love how he turned broadside. If 
if, if he didn't turn broadside, he would still be alive. Time to die by the hands of Mogami, I take it. Oof. Did he just miss me? job oh my god get out played get out played beautiful beautiful you know there used to be a rule well I, I don't know was it a rule it was it was a saying that I always used to say and pretty much everybody I said it to was like yep yeah that that's got to be a rule back in the day if you're a destroyer, the ship number one that you were afraid of was Mogami. If there's a Mogami, you're not there. You don't want to be there. Yeah. <laughs>